Hello again, everyone. In my last video, I showed you my new mouse puppet and my idea for a short film that tells the story of the mouse participating in an art show. I have been busy since then building the scenery for the first scene, and I'll tell you a little bit about that now. In the beginning of the story, the mouse comes outside to check the mail, and then notices a poster for an art show that's taped to a lamppost. So I wanted to make a three-dimensional house, a three-dimensional mailbox, and a three-dimensional lamppost. And then I wanted to make a two-dimensional background that would show a little more of the environment and the town where the mouse lives. I'm making the house out of a cardboard cereal box. I'm giving the mouse an arched doorway. I think that's because when I was little, if I saw a cartoon that had a mouse in it, the mouse often came out of a little hole in the wall that was shaped like an upside down U. I'll bend the cardboard around the doorway to make it look like the walls have some thickness. I'll make the door out of a piece of corrugated cardboard because I think the lines in the corrugated cardboard look a little bit like the planks of a real wooden door. And I thought I could use some small corrugated cardboard to be the shutters of windows. If I cut out just a little rectangle of paper and carefully peel it off, the corrugated cardboard inside looks a little like the pattern you see on the shutters of windows. Now I want the mouse puppet to stand out against the background. The mouse puppet is gray, pink, red, blue, so I'll make the house yellow and green. And the door will be green. And I'll vary the color with some lights and darks. Now that I look at how dark the green on the trim is, it seems a little too high contrast to me. But that's actually okay because that gives me the idea to do a wood grain effect, and the green is a good base for that. Now to choose a color for the mailbox from the different colored cardstock I have. I think this orange sherbet color will be good. I'll make a wood base. And use that to measure out the mailbox shape. The mailbox shape is a little complicated because it's rectangular on the bottom but curved on the top. I'll make one out of a little piece of scrap paper first, just to make sure my plan works. And now that it does, I'll make it out of the real paper. I'll make the back end to support it. I'll use this dowel to bend the paper around that curved top shape. And I think it will work best to glue one side down first. And once that glue has dried, I'll glue down the other side. Now for the door, I can just use folding paper as the hinge so the door can open and close. 
and now Mouse can check the mailbox. For this movie, I didn't need the flag on the mailbox to actually work, but I couldn't resist making it work anyway. So the flag can go up and down too. Now for the lamppost, I'll bend a piece of black cardstock around a dowel, glue the edges, and use tape to hold it together while the glue dries. And once it does, I'll take the tape off. It is picking up a little bit of the paper, but that's okay. And I've made a framework for the top. Now for the lid of the lamp, that shape is a bit complicated too, but I figured out how I can fold a square into this pyramid shape that will fit on top. I was thinking when the mouse comes home, it would look nice if the lamppost was lit. And I figured out the best way to do that is with this LED lamp shining in it from the top. So I cut a hole in the lid of the lamp and fit that around the LED lamp. And the part of the LED lamp you can see can just be part of the design of the street lamp, and the rest of the real lamp will be out of frame. To sketch out the two-dimensional background, I set up the camera so I would know what would be in the camera frame, and I'm using this dowel and piece of paper here to give me an idea of where the lamppost will be. Now I'll make a more precise drawing of the background. I'm going to put a mouse in here for a minute just to get a sense of scale, but I'll erase that for the painting. It would be nice to see some other homes and maybe a grocery shop in the background too. Now to transfer this drawing onto watercolor paper, I'll put my paper on a light box and trace the drawing on the back with a pencil. Now I'll flip it right way round on top of the watercolor paper and rub the drawing so the pencil on the back comes off on the watercolor paper. And I'll do it twice because I'll have one background for the daytime and one for the nighttime. I'll hold it upside down to paint the sky because that will make it easier to do an even blue wash. When you're doing a painting, you can hold the paper any way that makes it easiest to paint the things you want. I'll try to make the two-dimensional street lamp look as much like the three-dimensional street lamp as I can. Now for the night scene. It's the same process, but a darker blue in the sky. And less color and more gray in the buildings. I thought it would look nice if I could illuminate the street lamp and the windows in the background. So I cut out this part of the street lamp, and I didn't want the windows to be as bright, so instead of cutting them out, I covered the back with black cardstock except for where the windows are. So when I shine a light on it from the back, the windows and the street lamp glow. And now I can turn on the three-dimensional street lamp, and the street lamp and the windows in the background. And when I zoom in with the camera, you won't see the edges, and we can really imagine we're in the mouse's world. And then I thought I could use another lamp to make it look like the mouse turns on the light inside. The set is open on the bottom, so there's room underneath to operate the puppet. But then I zoom in the camera, so you don't see that in the frame. The program I'm using to edit this film lets you put the scenes in any order. So I don't have to film them in order, while this is set up, I can film all the scenes when the mouse goes in or out the door, and then put them in the right order when I edit the final film. 
Now that I've filmed everything with the doorway, I can move on to the next scene, and I'll tell you about that in the next video.